All right, here we are. It's episode 17. It's called Fool of the Nile. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's called Sphinx of the Memories. So it's called Top... Yeah, we'll stick with Top Duck. Starts off, these boys are in the yard, hanging out in their treehouse, pretending to be planes. Uh, Launchpad sees them pretending to be planes. And he gets mad. He's like, you want to have a plane off? So they try and surrender. Here's uh, Huey, Dewey, or Louie waving a handkerchief like that slut from uh, Greece. Let's him know the game's on, so he dive bombs him. He flies in these power lines, gets caught up, twists up, just hanging out upside down. Uh, he would do or Louie wipes his tear away, puts it into a jar. He says tears are powerful. You can see someone's memories. And he tells him about uh, how he used to have his family members that flew with him, and uh, he either has a flashback or uh, the animator's dropped water on the cells either are very believable with the show so you see the flying launch pads mcquacks flying mcquacks flying this this crowd of shock they've never seen planes before uh they get in this formation i don't they're gonna do some maneuver where they fly to barn yeah one flies in the barn, barn door is too small, comes out the other end, it's got a cow. The cow's sick, scared. This other one flies in, flies out the other side, he's got a different cow. Launch pad flies in, door's too small for a plane to actually fit. Comes out, a little pig. Fat pig, bigger than him, flying the plane with his donger. They crash land in the mud. Uh, pig's like, don't look at me, I'm a pig. So launch pad does the only reasonable thing uh, you could do after being shamed is just puts a little puts a bag on his head. Puts his uh puts some airplane parts in a bindle, and he leaves. Hugh Dirillo says the story doesn't make sense. Scrooge shows up. He's like, ah, I need someone to fly a jet. Uh, meanwhile, to prison. Uh, Beagle Boys here. They get the Tribune in their cell every day. Uh, there's a local headline is one M E P M C X Al Bedubba Twelve. Uh, they're obviously not going to see this plane that looks like the Beagle Boys flying into the yard. Uh, he throws this hook in. It rips the wall off. All the bricks stay together. They fly out. That makes sense. One of them's mad. He says he got left behind. He said he and his Ikea bed will be chilling there until they get back. So they go to this air show. And, uh, oh, surprise, surprise. Because the fans uh, demanded it, it's the return of, uh, I think his name's, Benzino Gasolini, it's the racist uh, Italian pig, shows up. He's a disgusting pig, and he's Italian, so uh, I could be wrong. I could be the wrong one, and it could not be racist. But uh, the Beagle Boys show up. They're going to enter this air show, too, with Benzino Gasolini. And uh, they got these disguises, but they keep the little numbers on their chests. No one knows it's them. Uh... And then the McQuacks show up. Here's Launchpad's dad. Now he's huge. I told you he'd grow. Uh, so he introduces the family. And, of course, the dad looks like John Goodman. Mom looks like Annie Potts from Ghostbusters. And uh, the sister is uh, Jubilee from the x Men cartoon. And the mom shows some little pictures of Launchpad. Oh, he crashed when he was a kid. Here he crashed his playpen. Doesn't make sense. Here he, pl- he crashed his high chair. Doesn't make sense. Uh, here he crashed a go-kart, doesn't make sense. Beagle Boys, got a hot air balloon. Look at the size of the basket, barely fits all three of them, but when it pulls in, uh, you see it not only fits all three of them very well, but it fits this, uh, machine for pink goo. It's a catapult. Launchpad flies a jet in. Uh, so then Scrooge starts, uh, recreating Hitler's famous speech. Starts yelling, he thinks it's going over gangbusters. This guy in the booth is loving it. Um, then Launchpad, he... Gets his little jet out. He's got a little gun on it. Shoots a goddamn laser into the ground. Blows up a hole in the ground. Uh, so then anyways, the Beagle Boys shoot this pink stuff into the jets. Plane. Uh, pulling them a top gun. Does a low flyby. Takes the takes out Scrooge. Uh, the boys, children, deduce that launch pad crash because of the gun. And then, oh, DuckTales wipe. And uh, you're in this other scene. And Launchpad's family shows up. Uh, Dad goes, hey. Oh, the Beagle Boys take the jet. And then uh, 
Uh, Beal Boy gives the thumbs up. He's doing the Maverick picture from Top Gun. They reveal they're going to break into the money bin with the jet. And then Scrooge is sad. He makes a couple of weird faces. They have like a weird face off. See, so they just go back and forth with these weird faces. Scrooge got creepy eyes. And somehow the Beagle Boy pays him for the jet. Uh, meanwhile, oh God. damn it. The launch pad has this prop jet. It's propped up on a box. Way to the plane doesn't break the box. Launch pad is shocked. Uh, the boys, they do like this 15 minute freestyle rap. It's really weird. Sounds a lot like Wu Tang. Uh, Huey Dewey really just keeps saying the F word. Like, he doesn't even rhyme it with anything. He just says the F word. Then they run at you. Run at you. Run at you. And uh, then they, oh no, they're looking at you. What's going to happen? It's a ducktail scratch shot. Get this water going. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing worth saying happens for the next 10 minutes. Just show you some random Im- images. Uh, a bit of goddamn bag. And then uh, Benzino Gasolini shows up. He gets out of pizza. So there's a dog, sunglasses, and a pizza. Uh, he's, he's Italian, so of course he's eating a pizza and seizing it. He lands. And uh, he walks into uh, where the boys are being held with the pizza. He gives a fat dog a piece. Fat dog's so excited for pizza. He gets up, and like most fat people who are excited for food, he drops his keys, and he starts eating. Benzino lets the, uh, lets the boys out, gives them the pizza, and then just inexplicably leaves. Uh, boys aren't sure what to make of that or the fat duck eating, dog eating the pizza. Uh, so then, meanwhile, the money bin, Jet, uh, whereas before it blew holes and stuff, now it apparently has magnetic power to peel back metal. And uh, Launchpad, he's trying to find Beagle Boys to help, pulls out his map, realizes it's the wrong map. This is a bit map. It's got a bunch of little bits and goofs on it. You notice there's a fork in the road, arrows pointing down and up. There's a maze. It's funny. Uh, the other duck, he's got a, you guessed it, a handgun. He said he's going to take him out. Ever since he started rapping, he just took a turn for the worse. It's like the, uh, who's a, the bad one, Boys in the Hood, was a Doughboy? Uh, I haven't seen it. Should have watched that instead of this. Anyway, shoots this duck dead, this dog dead. The dad hits launch pad. He's like, you've embarrassed the McDucks for the last time. My waist is the size of a quarter. Launchpad cries because his dad beat him and disowned him. And then then it ends with that. So, long story short, once you leave your family with a bag on your head, don't ever try and go home again. Uh, That's the way the saying goes. So, there you have it. Another worthless episode of a worthless show.